Hi everybody, Fosu Muhammad Shalaf with you. Uh, our subject today is to talk about uh, solar uh, desalination for uh, multi-stage flash desalination systems uh, by the using of uh, flashing processes. Uh, as an intermediate unit, we are going to use uh, a flash uh, cyclones. Okay, uh, go to your destination folder. Okay, specify your destination folder your folder suppose it's on, on your uh, any which which are the drive you have to set and go to your uh, folder model double clicking be sure to check model browsers and all of these things are uh, ready for uh, uh, our run okay uh, what about our cycle today our cycle is it's about uh, using parabolic drop solar field as a, a main source of uh, of uh, of um, a thermal power, in order to drive flash uh, cyclone or flash tank, in order to generate sufficient steam for brine heater, which is responsible for uh, powering the desalination process of multi-stage flash. We are not going to demonstrate in details in full details. Uh, multi-stage flash uh, because we already uh, um, demonstrated that before so uh, what we're going here is to talk about uh, how can we run our model uh, uh, the possibility of uh, of uh, extracting our data and, and and so on okay for example uh, our cycle uh, includes um, parabolic draft field flash cycle uh, pumping unit okay our main working flow flow with this uh, for this cycle for power for thermal power cycle is uh, water and we have here a seawater cycle um, across uh, the multi-stage flash so we have here uh, this is seawater cycle and we have brine heater multi-stage flash uh, but this is a multi-stage flash uh, brine recycle technique so we can add uh, one to through system or uh, MED or whatever we can remove this and we can add another uh, uh, model anyway first of all you can double clicking here okay and we have to specify some inputs suppose I'm going for 5,000 5,000 meter cube per day as a productivity ambient temperature for exergetic analysis Solar radiation, suppose it's around uh, 700 watt per meter square, and outlet parabolic trough field temperature. What is uh, the, the top cycle temperature here from uh, the parabolic trough field? It's quite interesting. So uh, it's supposed to be uh, larger than a top brand temperature because we uh, it's a design model, therefore we have to specify this and uh, top brain temperature uh, this one and brain blow down reject temperature and elite feed temperature we are going to uh, assign so we have to uh, calculate the following uh, uh, suppose i'm going for uh, 180 degrees celsius let's see let's discover this okay let's say okay we have to calculate outlet bump to inlet uh, stream going to the power collector of solar field and uh, to um, uh, the, the in between streams uh, we have to set our number of stages also okay uh, let's go inside this is our cycle we have uh, a power collector of field intermediate flash cycle brine heater and we have here uh, multi-stage flash and bump. Uh, so we have also uh, cost analysis block and performance block. Okay, for uh, parabolic draft field, we can assign some design aspects. I will keep these things, with, such as um, hydraulic mass for it, suppose it's one, in order to divide our loops and something like this. Uh, for uh, flash cyclone, let's go for flash cyclone. We can assign only uh, steam velocity through uh, the steam pipe. 
I will keep these changes because it's up to your design. For um, brain heater, brain heater, we have to flow velocity tube parameter, brain heater effectiveness. It's quite interesting. Suppose it's around 80% as efficiency. Let's go for our main uh, desalination target. It's a uh, uh, multi-stage flash. Let's emphasize. Okay. What we have here? Uh, operating conditions. Seawater inlet temperature. Suppose it's uh, 22. Uh, top brine temperature. Normally around uh, 109, uh, 100, 110. I will keep it at uh, 150. 15 I'm sorry 15 but be sure this one is as uh, less less than top cycle temperature coming from uh, coming from parabolic trough solar field and last stage temperature I'll keep um, keep it at suppose it's 35 and salinity is uh, suppose I'm going for 45 uh, salinity ratio for, for the feed and brine blow down salinity I suppose it's uh, uh, 56 56 about 9 56 okay and uh, splitter for this is a brine recycled technique so we have to assign a splitter uh, feed water splitter ratio I will keep these things number of stages I think um, uh, uh, sure, if you increase the number of stages up to whatever you would like and you can assign a number of uh, uh, heat rejection section and number of stages for uh, uh, heat recovery sections. You can specify these things based on your design and your uh, target. It's up to you. But I will keep uh, uh, I keep these um, values at its normal case: 20 stages, 17 stages for heat recovery, and three uh, um, usually three for heat rejection section. And this is design aspect number of um, brain load, the vapor velocity, uh, weak coefficients, heat recovery, tubes, diameters, uh, some uh, design. But we have four bumps, brine, feed, uh, recycula recirculation bump, and uh, distill bump. I'll keep efficiencies and cost of power uh, because this is, there is no electric power from the sun, it's from the main grid. Okay, let's go for the bump. You have to assign your efficiency, all the efficiency. Um, for uh, cost analysis, you, you can assign direct capital costs, number of operating hours, interest rates, load factor, plant lifetime, suppose it's 25, uh, labor cost, chemical cost, uh, uh, electrical cost, it's up to you, your, uh, your territory or area or your country, what is about cost of, um, in your country. Anyway, you have to set, uh, save, hit, Hit save and set your simulation time with zero. Okay, let's hit run and discover our results. Let's hit run here. It would take a little bit more time for running. Yes, okay, I'm sorry, we have to. There's uh, yes, we have to assign this. I think we have to increase this one. 40 okay or increasing yes okay there is a complex yes because of uh, 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 it's rated to a logarithmic and complex numbers you have to increase your uh, let is let's go increase our per collector of uh, Degrees is yet suppose it's 200. Okay, that's it. Save and hit run. Let's see. I'm sorry, I have to. Okay, let's hit. Okay, now 
um, because of effectiveness on um, or some complexes you have to adjust your operating temperature now it's okay now uh, so uh, let's discover our results so we have what we have here is, is this is our parabolic solar field of, uh, evaporation pressure outlet in Salby uh, solar area this is area uh, length of your field number of uh, of loops number of uh, solar collectors I think this is, should be uh, see here let's adjust this one okay load floor and saving okay and hit apply okay we are waiting for my my laptop uh, okay okay that's our result and we have here um, some outputs I have to adjust this okay we have exergy a total uh, exergy in uh, exergy efficiency total irreversibility efficiency of your solar field pressure losses and so on for flash cyclone this is so important because you have to watch this one this is total your total mass flow rate and we have dryness fraction okay dryness fraction and uh, flash tank water you have to keep watching or keep your eye on your dryness fraction it should be uh, between uh, normal values i think if you increase this it it, it will become quite uh, superb and, and very good uh, so you can uh, collect your output L tube uh, uh, section area steam velocity flash tank height flash tank width you have to adjust your parameters in order to seek what is your best uh, operating conditions uh, with your optimized design uh, analysis okay for brain heater okay we have uh, uh, mass flow rate of so the, uh, the uh, cooling mass flow rate and we have top uh, LH steam temperature uh, LH steam temperature uh, LH in salve of the steam top steam uh, entropy condensed steam pressure okay thermal power thermal power through uh, the condenser unit brine flow rate condenser area and so on for multi-stage fillets let's go and see it's quite interesting here okay uh, for 5000 meter cube per day uh, this is our total feed and we have um, a makeup feed mass flow rate uh, me, uh, feed loss from the, fir the first spiller uh, unit and we have brine uh, f blew down from the second spiller unit mass flow rate Recycle feed. This is the cycle feed going to the brine heater, and we have salinity of the recycle stream, brine mixer uh, feed, mass flow rate, total blue down, uh, splitter ratio, second splitter ratio, and we have brine profile, uh, distal profile, accumulated distal profile, stage by stage, as you can see here, we have 20 stages and we have uh, so we can this is three stages of heat uh, rejection and this is your last stage brain temperature we assigned this one okay total areas gate height uh, brain pool height and so on and we have here a fish is a power rated to um, each bump we have four bumps and we have some um, this is exergetic uh, block. You can discover your exergy of brine blow down, exergy of inlet feed, uh, exergy of outlet feed, exergy of the, your district, total irreversibility through the uh, multi stage flash. And so, for bump, you, we have to consume around 145 kilowatts of power 
let's go here and go okay and decrease lasers okay for cost analysis we have here um, this is hourly cost for um, for parabolic traffic solar field we have this is your hourly cost for much spheres it's massive and for uh, this is total annual cost for much spheres you only product cost uh, 3.8 uh, US dollar per meter cube total plant cost total water price and feed cost according to your chemicals and, uh, and so on we have specific bar consumption around five gear ratio and we have performance ratio okay that's quite interesting quite normal values uh, okay let's go dynamically suppose i'm going for dynamic system um, i'm uh, i hope that uh, to to see what is the effect of uh, our um, operating condition or dryness fraction and other results i will set your simulation time into infinity and i i i would like to keep watching uh, the effect of um, let's going here first of all and let's going in to the flash cyclone yes uh, this is our flash cyclone uh, i would like to keep watching on uh, on this f dryness fraction uh, but i have to uh, i'm sorry again i have to uh, suppose i go here uh, let's go and uh, increasing this one and returning back to the flash cyclone okay I I don't know what is going on yes I have to yes suppose it's 205 okay and go to the flash cycle yes now we can change and see our uh, results changing with us okay first of all I have to hit apply and hit run let's change uh, I will change my top cycle uh, temperature through the solar field. Okay, let's go and change. Okay, this is your dryness fraction is 0.17. Suppose I'm increasing. Yes, increasing your top cycle temperature would increase uh, uh, the dryness fraction up to 20, 20, 26, 27. Uh, at the same at the same time uh, it would decrease the total uh, mass mass flow rate total mass flow rate so this is will really affect on your cost and dryness fraction increasing flash tank water side would will will decrease also because you are going to increase um, the, the steam content in your cycle okay let's hit apply suppose i'm going for uh, increasing for changing uh, the top brain temperature to as well and let's go here and increasing let's go for uh, flash cycle oh i'm sorry okay i have to decreasing uh decreasing top brain temperature suppose i'm decreasing down to 105 Oh, and increasing brine uh, blue down temperature. That's increasing, increasing seawater temperature. Uh, just making some changes and see uh, what is going on on our side. That's it. Stop. Stop here. And we have to go to our data inspector and see what is going on. Okay. Okay, this is uh, fluctuating in uh, in solar field hourly cost, mass multi flash hourly cost, total annual cost changing, uh, blind uh, uh, total plant costs, um, solar field area changing. Um, we have here a flash tank, uh, total feed mass flow rate. This is makeup mass flow rate. This is in, uh, in multi stage finish. Yes, brine recycle. Let's go for brine recycle. Yes, changing in brine recycle. Uh, this is our uh, performance ratio. 
and this is our gain ratio changing specific bulk consumption and uh, let's go for i'm seeking dryness fraction what is yes this is your dryness fraction according to the changing of uh, of, uh, of top brain temperature and uh, uh, top cycle temperature the top uh, this is steam inlet to the brain heater and thermal power and inside we have the steam so you can uh, control your output uh, suppose I'm going here in my workspace and I can discover this is uh, uh, this is a brain profile you can plot your brain profile this is your brain profile and we have here distal profile as you can see increasing this accumulated distal and distal stage by stage okay and we have here a gate height for example this is your gate height and this is the last three um, last three stages and we have uh, okay so so many parameters you can discover here um, mass flow rate. suppose you are going to type uh, recycle of uh, uh, mass flow rate you'll find your values okay performance ratio I suppose I'm going here performance ratio suppose you are going to write this uh, Q condenser yes over performance ratio Okay, so you can use your outputs in order to control uh, this salinity profile. The salinity profile, stage by stage, a brain profile, top brain temperature. I, I, I mean, brain profile temperature. I'm sorry, brain profile temperature. A vapor profile temperature, uh, three stages, 17 stages. Overall heat transfer coefficients, uh, and so on. Uh, finally, we would like to uh, thank you very much for your watching and our int your interest in, uh, in our uh, cycling and model. Um, uh, we hope that uh, you enjoyed your time with us. Please don't forget to uh, like and share, uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.